Let's do it. Hi everybody. With all the talk around people practicing self-awareness, it's come to my attention that many people don't know what boundaries are and how to put them into practice. Not necessarily a bad thing because it can be confusing, but I think that people forget that who they are as an individual and how they connect with others go hand in hand. Hand in hand goes hand in hand. And I also think that people forget that the world does not revolve around them. It's totally natural to worry about how others perceive us, how they're gonna treat us, or how each situation is going to affect us. But do not forget that we are just like the billions of other people on this planet that all want the same things, attention, happiness, love, and respect. So how do you know if you're setting boundaries or actively avoiding situations? Let's break it down. Boundaries. First and foremost, boundaries are a way for you to communicate to others what you need, what you're feeling, and how their actions may affect you. These help people connect with you and understand how you function. Also, when you set boundaries, it clearly states how you're going to treat other people and how you expect them to treat you. I I also think that boundaries are not set in stone and they evolve with the person. You grow in time, you meet new people, which means that there's always gonna be change and new ways to navigate around this. Now let's also forget, oh no, let's not forget. Let's not forget that setting rigid boundaries is also negative. It is so crucial that we acknowledge and recognize that we make mistakes too. So when we remember that everybody makes mistakes, including ourselves, it becomes a lot easier to act out of compassion instead of anger or hurt. And honestly, it's inevitable. You are going to cross some kind of emotional boundary with another person, and most likely it's going to be unintentional. So knowing that, knowing that your actions may have been unintentional, you have to remember that when other people react in ways that you may not like. Quite simply, just say you're sorry, just as you would want someone else to do for you too. Also, boundaries can be broken down a little bit further into emotional and physical, but today we're just gonna keep it very broad. All right, now on to avoiding. I like to think of avoiding as your way of trying to gain control over a situation that makes you uncomfortable. Am I far off? Disagree if you want, but if you actively avoid situations or people that have made you feel uncomfortable, it almost becomes a strategy to punish them for your reaction. And when you do this, it makes it almost impossible to connect with other people. Now, don't get me wrong, it makes total sense as to why people will actively choose to avoid, but that doesn't always mean that it's the healthiest decision. Yeah, you feel protected, but what happens to your relationships with people in the long run? How do you grow as an individual? I do think that people forget that both setting boundaries and avoiding are ways to protect ourselves. It just comes down to which path you choose to take. And being real, <laughs> It really comes down to you choosing whether or not you want growth or comfort. And I'm here to tell you that any fear and anxiety that you try to control by avoiding will never go away, especially if you continue down that path. And instead of actually protecting yourself, you may be using defensive strategies and then labeling them as boundaries. Again, unintentional, but it might actually be happening. And whether or not you're aware of this, those behaviors that come with avoiding often come off as really cold and unapproachable. And what gets me is that people oftentimes associate avoiding with being strong. And there is a difference between avoiding and walking away from a situation. There's just this idea that when you set boundaries, you're being more vulnerable, or as some people like to call it, being weak. In my opinion, when you avoid and you use those defensive strategies, it doesn't make your relationships or yourself any safer or any better. I actually think it does the opposite. <laughs> Instead of recognizing your own faults, it actually tricks you. It tricks you into believing that all of the external problems that you have are always going to be the other person to blame. It's always gonna be somebody else. So instead of choosing to better yourself and grow, choosing to avoid actually reinforces that there's danger when people act in certain ways. And then you start to feel more scared and more hurt and then the vicious cycle just starts all over again. Rather than actually seeing it's fear that's harming you, you always think that it's other people. So how do we overcome this? It's quite simple, we set boundaries. It comes down to your fears and your insecurities and how other people treat you. It could also include how people make you feel. And yeah, it's terrifying because that involves you facing and taking responsibility for your core beliefs and your negative thoughts. 
One of the greatest lessons that I've ever learned was that we cannot control other people, we can only control ourselves. It sounds pretty simple, but when you really try to put that into practice, it's so difficult. So don't have this idea that you can control other people, their thoughts and their actions. It's not going to happen. And I say that so we can stop projecting and blaming and then change our mindset and our behaviors rather than having the expectation that other people are gonna be doing it for us. Protect yourself in the right way, the healthy way and even in a way that benefits both you and those around you. When you set boundaries for yourself and for others, you'll see how the relationships around you change. You're definitely gonna see a positive difference. Your expectations and your need to control others to make yourself feel better will just disappear. You may even discover a newfound respect for everyone's unique healing and growth process. And through that, hopefully you won't come off as threatened or threatening to others when developing new relationships. So yeah, that sums up the difference between setting boundaries and avoiding. Regardless of your past, it's really important to remember that everyone is constantly trying their best to live among other people. And when you remember that, you're gonna feel a lot less resentment. And when you feel a lot less resentment, you're gonna have more of an emotional space to generate a lot of compassion and love for those around you. You're gonna feel less inclined to avoid situations. And hopefully, hopefully, you will find a lot more strength and courage to take situations head on instead of avoiding them. I hope that was helpful or at least got you thinking. Per usual, subscribe if you'd like. If not, feel free to follow me on Instagram. My handle is Intricate. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Bye.